In this video, I'm going to be responding to a user request, and it relates to a video that I created a little bit ago, in which I was taking a screenshot any time that a test fails. Now, Malika here is saying, how can we store that screenshot into a Word or Excel document? Thank you so much for your request, Malika. And I think this is a great question, since you can use this type of document to give to your manager, product owner, or someone within your team. Thanks so much for tuning in to Automate Now. I'm Marco Cruz. Now let's dive in. We're going to begin by describing the scenario that we're going to be automating. And here we have the automatenow.io homepage. We're going to create a task in which we navigate to this homepage and then we check the title for this page. So let me hit F12 here. And I'm going to expand this here, the head tag. And we can see that the title for this page is called home automate now. Now let's go ahead and create the test. And here I have a class called save screenshot to file. I also have a test called test save screenshot to Word document. And in this test, we're going to navigate to that home page that we talked about, and we're going to grab the page title. So let's go ahead and create a string here to store that title. Once we have the title, we're going to make an assertion to make sure that the page title matches a given text. Okay, so here we grab the title and then we compare that title to this value right here, home dash automate now. If it doesn't match, we're going to see this error. The title is invalid. Now that our test is complete, we're going to take a look at this class over here, which is the listener class. Let's go ahead and take a look at this test listener. And here is the class that we implemented in the previous video. And the thing to pay attention to is this method right here, on test failure. This is a method that takes a screenshot anytime that a test fails. And what we do is we take the screenshot and then we save the screenshot in this location over here. We create a folder called fail test and then we use the name of the test to save the screenshot. But this time we don't want to do that. We want to instead save the screenshot into a Word document. So let's see how we're going to do that. In order for us to be able to do that, we need to leverage a Java library called Apache POI or Apache POI. So let's go grab that library. And we're going to need to head over to mvnrepository.com. And in the search area, we're going to say Apache POI. And then we click search. And here we have different results. The Apache dependency that you use is going to depend on the type of document that you're trying to work with. In our case, I'm going to show you how to store this image into a Word document using the latest Word document extension, DOCX. Let's go to the Apache website. And down here, we're going to find this information where it says, if you're working with this type of document, Word DOCX, then this is the Maven artifact ID that we need to work with right here, POI-OOXML. If you're working with an older version of Word, for example, Word 2007 and prior, then you will need this one over here. I will be providing a link to this website in the video description so you can learn more. Now let's go grab that Maven dependency. And this is the one that we need right here, POI.OOXML. So let's go ahead and click this. And the latest version currently available is this one, 5.0. I'm going to click here to copy this information. And now we can go to our project and add it. To add the dependency, we're going to head over to the pom.xml file right here. And we're going to add it to the dependency section. Once this is added, we need to click this button here to download this dependency. Now that that is done, we're ready to start implementing our test listener method. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to grab this method right here and make a copy of it. I'm also going to comment out this old method because we're not going to be using it for now. So let's go ahead and paste this here. And we want to leave this information the same here because we still want to grab that screenshot. But in this try section, we're going to write something different here. And the first thing that we need to do is to set up the directory where the screenshot document is going to be stored. So let's go ahead and do that now. First, we're going to create a path variable. Let's call it screenshots path. And we're going to say path dot off. And here we're going to say dot for slash failed tests. And what we're doing here is we're starting at the root directory. And then we're creating this new directory called failed tests. In this case, the root means the name of your project. So we're going to have a new folder here called fail tests. 
In my case, I already have this directory here, but let me just go ahead and delete it for demonstration purposes. Then we're going to say if files dot exists, and we're going to pass in a screenshots path. And this is going to check whether or not that directory already exists. If it does not exist, then we need to create it. And here we're going to create an assertion. We're going to say assert dot assert true new file. And here we're going to pass in the screenshot path. Then we need to say make directories. I have an error here. So let me click this and hit alt enter. And we're going to wrap this in string that value off. Lastly, let's go ahead and add an error message in case this assertion fails. Now let's begin to add the Word document information. And first, we're going to create a blank Word document. And this is where we're going to start using that Apache POI library. And we're going to say XWPF document. I'm going to hit Alt Enter. And we're going to say import class. We're going to call this document. It's equal to new XWPF document. If I hold the control key on the keyboard and I put my mouse over this, you're going to see that this is coming from that Apache POI library that we added to our project. And in case you're wondering what XWPF means, it translates to XML word processing format. Next, we're going to add a paragraph to this document. To add a paragraph, we say again, XWPF paragraph. I'm going to hit Alt Enter and import that class. I'm going to call this paragraph equal to, and since we want to add a paragraph to the document that we just created, we say document dot create paragraph. So great. Now this document contains a blank paragraph. Let's go ahead and add some text to that paragraph. And first we need to create what is called a run. So we're going to say XWPF again, we need to import this from Apache POI. I'm going to call this run is equal to paragraph dot create run. This is going to allow us to add information to that paragraph. And I would like this document to not only contain the failed test screenshot, but also to contain the name of the test that failed. So the way we're going to do that, we're going to say run dot set text. And here we're going to say test name is equal to, and we're going to grab the name of the test, which we are doing over here. So we're just going to say method name. Next, I want to add some space between the screenshot and this text. Now we need to create a file input stream for that image. So we're going to say file image is equal to new file. And the file that we're going to add is this one over here, which takes the screenshot. So we're going to use file. This is given as an error. So let's go ahead and alt enter here and wrap in this method. Now it's all set. Next, we need to say file input stream. Let's call this image data is equal to new file input stream. And here we're going to pass that image. Great. So now let's go ahead and set the image type and also the image name, because we're going to need to use this information. The image type is in the form of an integer. So we're going to say int image type is equal to XWPF document dot picture type. And here we have different types that we can choose. You can choose, we can have PNG, JPEG, BMP, and others. I'm going to choose JPEG. If you notice, what this is going to do is to store the value 5 into that image type variable. Next, we need to grab the image name. 
So anytime Selenium takes a screenshot, there's a temporary name that is given to that image. So let's go ahead and grab that. Next, let's go ahead and give our image some dimensions. We're going to specify an image width and a height. And please feel free to experiment with these values. I chose this because I like how the image looks when I use these values. Now we need to create a file output stream that is going to set the document name and destination. So we're going to say file output stream. Let's call this FOS is equal to new file output stream. And here I'm going to say new file. Now we're going to specify that directory in the file name. So let's say root directory failed tests folder and the name of the document is going to be screenshot dot docx that is the latest word document extension and finally we need to add the screenshot to the document and here we're going to say run dot add picture this takes several parameters first we need the picture data then the picture type followed by the file name, and then followed by the width and the height. So here we're going to say image data, comma image type, comma image file name. And to add the width and the height, we need to convert the integers into a different notation called EMU. That stands for English metric units. So we're going to say units, and this is from Apache POI library dot to emu and we can pass in the image width here the same thing with the height we have an error over here in the add picture method so let's go ahead and hit alt enter and this just means that we can get another type of exception called invalid format exception so let's go ahead and add that to the list and there it is next we're going to say document dot write and this is going to write all the information that we requested. And lastly, we're going to do some cleanup. So we have finished writing our method that is going to take that screenshot and save it into a Word document. Let's go ahead and walk through this method one more time so that you can get a good understanding of what is going on here. This first line here is going to get the name of the test that failed and store it in this variable called method name. Then we take a screenshot. Then we move on to set the output directory of where we want to store that image or that Word document containing the image. And here we're setting the path. So we're saying we're going to store the image in this directory called fail tests. This if statement is first going to check if the directory already exists. If it does not exist, then it's going to create it. Then we create the blank document. Next, we add a paragraph to that document. And lastly, we add some text to that document, namely the method name along with some spacing. Then we create a file that contains the screenshot that we took. And we put that into a file input stream. And here we're saying what type of image this is. In our case, we're using JPEG as the extension. We're using this variable to store the temporary name that is given to the image. And here we define the image width and height. And here we're saying where this document is going to be stored. We're saying it's going to be located in this folder called fail test within our root directory. And this is the name of the file screenshot.docx and in this section we're adding that image information to the document that we created and lastly we make sure that we close any connections that we have open all right so now the fun part let's go ahead and run the test that we wrote and the way we have this test set up right now it is going to pass because this is the correct page title for automatenow.io in order to make this test fail i'm going to add an extra s here to this word so when this test runs, it's going to fail because the page title is not going to match what we expect it to match. Let's go ahead and run this test. And as we can see here, this test has failed. If we scroll down here, we're going to see this test has failed and a screenshot was taken. We also see an assertion error here. The title is invalid. We expected this value, but found this value. Now let's take a look at this failed test folder. As you can see, this folder was not there before and it was automatically added because this test failed. Let's go ahead and expand this folder 
And here we find this document, the one that we wanted to create called screenshot.docx. This is a Word document. If you double click this document, it's going to open in Microsoft Word. In my case, I don't have Microsoft Word, but I have an equivalent. So let's go ahead and double click this. And as you can see, this is a Word document. It contains the methods name right here that failed. And we also have the screenshot. I had a lot of fun creating this video. Please keep your suggestions and questions coming. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.